Right. That's the reason why when you get to Isaiah, God, Isaiah's going to say, let me talk to you about these other nations oh, right. and what's happening on the world stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Mm -hmm. so let me, the, 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 there you go. Yeah. Within an hour. You allow them to do it. Right? In Korea, in Iran, That's right. the Syria war That's and what right. it did. Iraqi war, what it did, yeah. and you running around trying to police the rest of the world mm -hmm. when your stuff what? Falling apart. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You running around here and you putting all this stuff and now you got globalization and the alliances because we want to sit back and talk about that we are against these countries when globally we really got these economic and political alliances mm -hmm. and so now you got these multinational corporations mm -hmm. And you got all the rest of this that's happening on the world stage, and all the rest of these companies that's constantly making it, and Wall Street, and what they're doing, and all the rest of this stuff. Now, we'll talk about, like as he said, the foolishness, yep. but we're going to talk about what's happening in the global, what is God saying globally, right? and what is our role in it as a community right. of faith. And, and, mm. and, and, we, and we just got the church and all of that. You know, uh, as we see all of that going forth, society decay and all the decay, the people of God, the people of faith are sitting quiet. Oh. And so the, the prophetic voice is talking, they're talking to what is going to happen or what is happening. Right. It's, it's talking, and it's also talking to directly to the church, saying to the church that you caught up in all of this. You caught up. You have allowed yourself to get caught up, and you have allowed yourself to be pulled away from the very thing that God said would be in the beginning. So therefore, now you got to face, and you got to go through all of this because we are not hearing, and we are not doing what and obeying what thus said the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We are not addressing it. We are not getting. We are not. We are not teaching our children. We are not doing any of that. Totally so just like a body go back to the prophet of Habakkuk. I mean, we're not talking about Habakkuk, mm -hmm. but Habakkuk was like, he was like bent as to think that God will put his people in judgment uh, about Babylon mm -hmm. because of what that what was going on. But mm -hmm. just like with, with what we're saying right here in Isaiah today, <laughs> it just keep on, it, it's just keep so, on perpetuating itself. It's a continual mm -hmm. cycle. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You know, one thing I want to push you on is cognizant dissonance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It means that, this is what this means. Yeah. It means that you have two yes. different mm -hmm. messages. Yes, yes. I thought the prophetic voice had been silenced in the church. From <laughs> but, you know, the go same to God by prophetic voices. See, some of it, it ain't just been silence. Right. Some of it has been an alternative voice. Yes. They're giving you a voice. Mm -hmm. But the voice, now how do you tell, because my sister, she turned around and looked at me, wait a minute. Hear, hear what I said, my sister. Two different messages mm -hmm. from the same God okay. mm -hmm. about a situation, mm -hmm. about a circumstance. You want to ask me? Because she's sitting back there. Yes, ma'am, I'm talking to you. Make it plain, Reverend. Make it plain. <laughs> Two different messages. Mm -hmm. You want to know where I'm getting that from? Yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah was standing there, and Jeremiah put a yoke around his neck. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jeremiah said, This is what the Lord is saying. Now the prophet jumps up and said, The Lord said he's going to break that yoke mm -hmm. yes. from off our neck. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he breaks it. Same God, mm 